Hello, this is Craig from Bizbox.co.uk. In this video, we're going to paint a Spartan from the Halo Grand Command box game. So you get three Spartans in the box, and all mine are going to be painted exactly the same way. Um, I'm going to do a blue colour scheme, of course um, you can do yours in any colours that you see fit. But I'm going to do blue because I just want to keep um, the stuff um, similar to the box as possible. So I'm going to start by giving him a base coat of Cantor Blue. So these are very simple to paint really, so it probably won't be a um, very long video. Um, I'm not going to put massive details into these, even though they are Spartans. Um, they're still pretty simple to paint. They're mainly one colour. With just a little bit of detail on the gun and the visor. So it's just a case of going around the whole miniature in Cantor Blue. Now I'm applying it quite thin, just with an old brush. Now you may need a couple of coats just to get a nice smooth and solid finish. And here he is with that first coat of blue. So next up, um, we're going to add some shade to a miniature. So we want all the um, recesses to be quite dark and also um, That'll just help bring out detail a little bit there. So to do that, we're going to take some Drakenhof Nightshade. So I'm just going to apply this all over the model, fairly heavily, um, slightly watered down, just a little bit. As you see, it's all really darkened down for miniature, which is good because um, all them um, bits in between his armour, we want to be quite dark. And then the next step, we can pick out his armor plates and lighten them back up. So if the uh, shade wash now dry, you can see that the miniature is a lot darker. And we can begin to pick out all the armor panels now. So you can really use any um, lighter blue that you wish. I'm going to use techless blue because um, I quite like the colour. So it's a nice light blue. And I'll thin it down just a little bit. And then we can start painting on all the other panels. So I think I'll start with the helmet up here. And then literally just paint over all the armour panels. And sort of lighten them all back up and I'll leave all the dark blue in all the recesses, which is what you want. So, anyway, thumbing away there. It's very, obviously, um, it's a very small miniature, so it's quite easy to block it out of shot. Um, so, I'll try my best to just keep it in shot. I'll do some on the knee pad there. And it's literally just a case of working around the entire Spartan um, with, with your light blue colour. And again, um, two thin coats is always better than one thick layer. And with that layer of Techless Blue now added, you can see that the arm is much lighter. So you can leave the armour there or you can give it a highlight and I'm going to give it a highlight of Luffin Blue. So I'm only going to add very small amounts of this, thin down with a little bit of water. So we don't want these highlights to be too stark. Um, I'm going to place one running along the helmet there. Then when it comes to some of the armour panels, just kind of edge highlight just around them. Um, you don't have to do every armour panel if you don't want. Just adding little ones just here and there. Just to add a little bit more um, detail to the miniature. So we'll have one 
over there and on her chest as well. So yeah, just work around the armor plates of a miniature, and this little highlight. So with that, the blue armor is complete, and there's only a couple of details left to do, and that's the gun and the visor. So for the visor, I'm going to take some of the messy desert. So it's sort of a golden brown sort of colour. Um, you could always use something more gold or more yellowy if you wish. I thought this would be a nice colour to use on the visor and it will contrast quite nicely with the blue. So just be very careful as you apply it. Again, um, tooth and coats. Um, certainly on an area like this you do want to do a nice thin coat so the paint flows quite nicely. Let's make it easier to paint in a small area. So I'll just let that dry and then I'll give it another coat. So next up I'm just going to add a little shade wash to the visor and I'm going to take some Fugan Orange. So you want just a very small amount of this and you want it just to sort of pull up just sort of around the edges of the visor, just to add a, a little more, a little bit more depth to it. So it'll be quite subtle. So, it just sits just in the bottom of the visor. Like so, it just gives it a little bit of a more orangey feel as well. So lastly we just have to paint his gun and this one is armed with an assault rifle. So I'm going to take some Dawnstone. So this is a slightly lighter grey than what we want the gun to look like on the finished result. But in the next step we're going to add a wash over it and that will darken it down. Of course you could use a dark grey, give it a wash, and then highlight up a little bit if you want, but I'm just sort of doing this a nice quick way. Getting a nice dark grey. So just paint the dawnstone just all over the gun and just be careful not to get any on any of the armour. So if that now dries, only one thing left to do, and that is to add a shade of non-oil. So I'm just carefully applying the shade just in the gun just to bring out all the detail. And that will darken down the grey just a little bit as well. And that's really all you need to do for the gun and for the miniature, apart from um, just basing him. So yeah, with that, the Spartan is ready for the battlefield. So I hope you enjoyed this painting tutorial, just a quick and easy one just for the Spartans. I'm not doing too much detail on them, but I think they look pretty good. And we don't actually have the other ones at hand to to show you, but they look exactly like this, just with the bases done. Next up, and in the final video of this painting series, I am going to be painting uh, this. Um, this is the Zealot and an Elite Miner. I'll show you how to paint um, both of them in the same video. I do have. If I can find them, just another. So I've been working on some of the um, other Covenant stuff, and this is how I'm going to paint. And the Elite Miner, so it's like a bluey purple. So, um, yeah, um, I'll do him in a bluey purple and I'll do like a red for the Zella, and I'll show you how to do the Power Sword on that as well. So, hopefully, you're going to get a nice cool effect on that. So, I'm quite looking forward to doing that one, and that will be the final tutorial in this Halo series. So, as always, um, thank you for watching. Now, if you enjoyed this video, um, please give it a thumbs up, and if you want to uh, Keep up to date with all our videos, and um, you can hit that sub subscribe button. 
So, um, again, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.